Hi everyone, I'm Jen Sheffer, Digital Learning Coach. Thank you so much for joining me for today's training tutorial on ClassLink. Today we are going to be looking at some basic features and functionality of ClassLink and how we can customize our ClassLink Launchpad. That's what we have here in front of us. It's called our, our Launchpad and all the apps that you need for teaching and learning will be accessible to you in your ClassLink Launchpad. Now, if there's an app that you don't see here, the process will be the same as it's always been. You'll enter a ticket into Get Help requesting the specific application that you need. It will be reviewed, and if approved, it's going to be automatically added into ClassLink for you. So once you're here and you're ready to um, start navigating through your launch pad, I would recommend that you start in the upper right-hand corner. You're going to see a icon. It's a circle. Mine has a light bulb in it with a small drop-down menu next to it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you'll see here my name my email and the Burlington School District you're going to see settings so we're going to go ahead and click on settings and I'm going to show you some of the options that you have here so the first is our general tab and if we want to change our profile image we can so we can just simply click on that image there's looks like a settings gear we can upload an image from our computer or we can use one of these fun uh, avatars that ClassLink has available to us the other thing you can do in addition to changing your profile image is you could change your first or last name. If I wanted to be Jennifer, I could do that. You can also change your display name. I could change that to Ms. Sheffer. If I wanted to, I'm gonna leave my email as my school email. That's very important that you don't change that email. Um, I can also change the default language from English to a different language if I wanted to. And then the default time format is 12 hours. I could change that to 24 if I wanted. The next thing I'd like, any changes to, you'll just hit that green save button here at the bottom. Next, I'm going to click on the themes tab. So we have three different themes to choose from. The default is classic, and that's what I personally um, prefer, and I would keep it at classic, but you are welcome to change this to primary. This would probably be best suited for our youngest learners because the apps become much bigger. So feel free to change that for your kiddos to, um, to be conducive for, th for them as learners. So that could, again, that's going to be primary. Um, and then professional is the third option. You're going to see the apps are a bit smaller. And then you have this submenu here on the uh, left-hand side, but again, I really prefer that default classic theme, and you may decide that that is what you prefer as well. Um, in addition to changing the theme, you can change the app size. The default, I've shown you that, what that looks like. You can make it small if you'd like. They become much smaller, or you go back to themes, and you can change that to large, it's not quite as large as the primary theme, but you can see they get much larger. And again, this is all based on what you prefer um, as an educator. So I'm just gonna leave this at default. And then I can change the font style, the text background. You can see on the right-hand side here, that's what it looks like. But if I want, I can change that. I can click on that dropdown and I can change this to text shadow. I know that I really um, would rather have the default so I'm going to go ahead, once I've previewed that, I'm going to say no. I'm going to keep that to text background. Same with high contrast. You can take a preview of that. If you decide, nope, I really don't want that high contrast, you can simply go back to themes and toggle high contrast off. You can change the palette color. I've done this a few times, changing the palette color. And what this is, is the very top uh, toolbar strip, if you will. I like the blue, so I'm not going to change it, but feel free to change it to whatever color you want. And that is up here, this, this blue bar up here at the top. That's going to change if you'd like it to. And then um, the background of your wallpaper can also be customized. So if you don't like this um, default, you can click on that. There's all these different images you can choose from. If you want to upload custom wallpaper, you can add something from your computer to upload, or you can choose a specific color from this color palette here. Again, I have gotten used to this custom, or excuse me, the default wallpaper, so I'm going to just leave that as is. 
The next thing I'd like to show you in this intro video are some accessibility tools. If you see um, here at the, on the right-hand side towards the bottom, there's an accessibility icon. And when I click on that, I can change, um, there's, a, there's uh, an ability to select a section. So I can change apps, favorites, or settings. So I'm just gonna show you real quick, I can increase the size of the apps or I can decrease the text size. I, this is where I can also add that high contrast or change it. I can do a light background or change that. So those are some accessibility tools, some visual preferences for you if you'd like. Just move that over. I'm gonna click on the accessibility icon to make that submenu, um, to hide that submenu. So next I'm going to show you, if we click here at the very top, there's this little edit mode. I'm gonna click on that. Here's where I can, there's just some additional places where I can do certain things. I can add a folder. I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. I could do it from here. I can also change the theme, the app size, font style, the palette and the wallpaper. Everything I just showed you can also be done from this area here. So a lot of different, um, two different options for us as teachers uh, in terms of how we wanna customize Classlink's Launchpad. Now, if I want to add a folder, let's say, I can do quite a few things. So I'm going to hit control and then I'm going to click on my tra trackpad and you'll see here we have this uh, menu, this submenu that appears. Now the first option on this submenu is launch. So if I click on launch, it's going to open up the application in a separate tab right away. So um, that's a convenient uh, way to launch your applications. The other thing I can do when I right click on that is I can set this to auto launch. So what that means is anytime you open up ClassLink, any app that you select for auto launch will be automatically opened in separate tabs. So if you use Translate, Google Classroom, um, say uh, Google Drive, Docs, if there's a certain collection of apps that you're gonna use all the time and you just wanna set those to auto launch, feel free to do that. Likewise, if it's an app that you know you're going to use all the time, you can add it to your favorites. So let's just click on Add to Favorites for Google Translate, and you can see it gets pushed right down here in uh, my dock. It looks similar to a dock on your Mac. If you know Google Classroom is something you're going to use all the time, you could add Google Classroom to your favorites. If you want to remove it, you just simply go back, remove from favorite, it is gone. Show you that one more time. Uh, let's remove the favorite. Google Translate, it's as simple as that. The other thing you can do is if we hit control, we can create folders. So if we wanna organize our apps into a folder, we can do that. So I'm going to just click on add folder. I can give it a name. So I'm gonna do Google, Google Apps, all of my Google Apps can be put into that folder. I can also change the font color, uh, excuse me, the folder color if I wanted to. But then I'm gonna just go ahead and hit create. And you can see here, there is my Google Apps folder. So then I can go through and I can add Google Drive, Google Translate to my Google Apps folder. If I decided I don't want that folder anymore, all I have to do is hit control, I hit remove folder and I am given a prompt that says, do I wanna remove the or delete the Google Apps folder? The apps will still appear on your launch pad. I'm gonna say yes, delete, and they just get taken out of the folder, but they're still accessible to me in the launch pad. If I go back to that control option, I can add a tag. So maybe I wanna add tags for the core subjects that I teach, whether it's, you can see here, I have one for social studies. So maybe I wanna do Google Earth and I want to tag Google Earth as one of my social studies. And then it gives me down here that that tag, I removed the tag, but let me go ahead and add the tag social studies. Now Google Earth is tagged social studies successfully. Um, I'm gonna go back into that submenu if I wanted to remove an app, um, I don't think there'll be a, really a, a need for that, but um, there's um, remove app, there's more information. If I click on that, it just gives me um, a quick overview of the app itself. We're probably not gonna need that too often. Um, and 
change background. That's that last one that brings me back over to the theme. So again, this video was to just quickly show you how you can customize your wallpaper, your profile icon, how you can add apps into a folder, how you can tag apps. Um, and start to get a, a feel for making ClassLink work for you aesthetically. And um, hopefully you'll realize that it's really simple to navigate. Um, if you wanted to rearrange the apps, for example, in your launch pad, you can click. It has a drag and drop interface. So if I want to put slides over here, I can do that. So maybe I want to just keep my apps that are all Google apps in a row. Uh, there they are. I have everything from Sheets, Earth, Translate, so on and so forth. So all my Google Apps are, are uh, clustered together. But I can further customize and organize my launch pad through folders and tagging. Um, so hopefully you're um, excited to customize ClassLink's launch pad specifically to meet your needs. And you are realizing that this is a very simple interface, and as we um, bring out more features and more capabilities, we will bring more videos to you. I hope this has been helpful, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or any other digital learning coach for assistance with ClassLink. Thank you so much for watching.